Hey, hi, hello everybody and welcome back to the Goat Force Gaming Channel where we play the roguelikes and the roguelites every single time. Hey folks, it is tremendous to be back out here with all of you again showing off all the amazing rogues that are hitting the scene regularly. I'll tell you what, today we've definitely got a differently looking game than what we typically look at and I think that's just fine. So let's get into this a little bit. I am gonna go with the sentry, I think. Yeah, let's go with that. Folks, what we have here is a game called Glyphica. And this is a roguelite bullet heaven that is powered by your ability to type words very quickly and very accurately. You see, both of those things are important. And so, I wanted to come out today and show off a little bit of Glyphica while trying to type and speak at the same time. And quite honestly, I don't know how that's going to go, but we're going to give it a try, right? Kinetic weapons have a crit chance against frozen enemies. That's interesting. Do we have anything that does freeze? I don't think we do yet, but I think we could hope for that to happen, right? Look for something that does some freeze action. Anyway, so as you can see here, I am tasked with typing the various words to get rid of the enemies. And if I can't do that in time, I have some weapons that are gonna help me take them out. Now, if you were good at Mavis Beacon teaches typing way back in the day, or maybe you were one of the lucky ones to learn on Mario teaches typing, I was not. I had Mavis Beacon and my mom forced it on me. Ooh, let's grab that shield. Mobs, Ides, Paid, Aver, Pika, Pika. Those are the folks that eat all kinds of stuff, I think. All right, let's let's uh, let's make a choice here. Uh, oscillator, fire an oscillating stream of particles in the direction of your most recent target. Yeah, let's do that, that sounds okay. And we've got room for two more capabilities here. Let's go with the new weapon. We'll go with Hunter and we'll get another thing going out there. Looks like I had a few level ups actually that I didn't uh, turn in. We'll go with an upgrade to the repeater. And then we can find these loot boxes along the way as well if you can type fast enough before the timer drains. All kinetic weapons, damage plus 10%, foot soldiers. All draw I'm just looking at the amount of items it affects. So I think we're gonna go horde. All right, so we are back into it here. And the challenge is going to build along the way. I've done a run here and there. But they mix it up with some larger words along the way, like atrophy, my goodness. Some words that you are not used to typing. And so that also adds to the overall challenge and chaos. Sometimes you can fire off something in one particular area and then not have to worry about those words for a minute. All right. So far we're doing okay. All right, I know some of you are screaming at home saying, "Go, oh my god, there's a level up. Would you would you do the thing?" Hair trigger, rate of fire plus 10%, damage plus 20% on the sentry. 
Yeah, let's go with a little bit more damn it. Well, although range would be nice, wouldn't it? All right, we're gonna cancel that. You also have to type out for your upgrade choices. I like it. Let's go with some more range on the sentry. Why not? Get those things firing off that much fast for us while we type yodeling. Yeah, all the weird Y words, including yometer, which, you know, is that even a word? Come on, keep me honest in the comments section, folks. But this presents a nice challenge, and then at the end, you get some information on how many words per minute you type, your overall accuracy. So, oh, I missed the treasure, but we got that one. All weapons, long range damage plus 20%, and large enemies plus 5%. Oh, chance up, so that you got a better chance of hitting. That's cool. Uh, well, long range damage plus 20 I like that. I like that. Let's go with that one. Pants, pine. All right. So to all the dads out there that celebrated Father's Day, I hope it was amazing for you. We had a really great one out here. Let's grab a treasure chest. All turret weapons, long range damage plus 20%. Wow, okay. I mean, I like the idea of just going heavy into the range so that we can get these words falling apart that much faster. Well, I had knockers started. All right, now this is where it starts to get crazy. See how they're revealing that word slowly to me as I type it? Now you can't just look at the word and then go. Here, we've got another one of those coming. K-O-O-K-Y. Presents a nice challenge, right? All right. Now we've got some larger words coming. Nurse. All right. Now you might be saying, but Goat, is there meta progression in the game? Well, yes, there is. I'm so glad you asked. We are earning resources that we'll be able to take back. Equid oh, see, there's my there's my brain going off, thinking it's equity. See how it gets kind of crazy there? There's moments of worry. I had my daughter play, and she knows how to type. But for whatever reason, she's given up on the home row. So I see her looking back and forth. And, you know, she got to like the three minute mark. And she said, Da, this is not a game for me. I said, no, that's, that's fair. That's fair. I like the little soundtrack, I like the sound effects popping off. I think it works for what it is, for what they're going for. Alright, incoming zest. Sometimes you start typing a word, and then it just gets taken care of by a weapon. And you're kind of like, wait a minute, I was 80% of the way there. Don't do that to me. Yeah, so we had a really great Father's Day out here. Oh, blew it on Ides. Actually went with steak and ribs. What a combo. My wife made a homemade barbecue sauce with cherries, 
and Chipotle. It was awesome. She really nailed the cook on the ribs, too. Ended up doing them in the crock pot for four hours. Uh-oh. Nose band. The old nose band. Oh, the old wind chat, you know. All right, I've, I've got to focus up a little bit here, it turns out. You're like, but Goat, you were about to talk about ribs. I know, and then Doozy and Civil and Sap happened. Telling you, fly by. If some of you go out and end up playing this game, here, now we're gonna take a sip of coffee for a second here. We're just gonna chill for just a moment. If you go out and play this game, I want you to try carrying on a conversation. You see how you do. <laughs> we're trying out here today, folks. Mm. Cheers to you. Hope you've got something good in your cup today. What do we wanna do here? Let's see. All turret weapons, rate of fire plus 10%, all drone weapon speed, all remote weapon speed. You know, I think we're gonna just keep going ham into the sentry. And then we, we need we need to grab a new weapon of some type to fill that other open space. Let's do some level ups here. I wonder how long that's been sitting there. I guess we're about to find out, huh? Uh, so new weapon minefield. Why don't we grab that? And let's go. Ooh, plus one turret on the sentry. All right. Maybe that's been sitting out there for a minute or two. Maybe some of you are like, it's been more than that, goat. What are you talking about? Yeah, there's been some level ups that have happened. You just get so caught up in what you're doing is is what happens. You're going, yeah, yeah, we, we're, we're not interested in the excuses, goat. Come on, we've been yelling for a little bit here. All right, so we're all caught up, turns out. Which should make things a little bit easier. Right? All right. Yeah, it, uh, it, it does seem a little bit easier, come to think of it. Sniper, long-range damage, enlarged enemies, all remote weapons, plus 10%. Double damage pickups, duration, plus 20%, and drop chance, plus... You know what, let's go with, let's go with that one. I like that as a nice little general upgrade. Speaking of, there, there it goes. So the ribs were just awesome. I mean, my wife really did nail the cook. Just fell right off the bone, you know? Warhead amplification damage plus 30%. I mean, that doesn't sound bad at all. Let's do that. All right. Keying, there we go. Another word I'm not always using. Sign. Oh boy. Storm. Hitting us with Pika again. Oh boy. Oh, now it's happening. Zizith. You know, you use Zizith all the time, right? It's those random words that really throw me off. All right. V-E-G-G-I-E. -G -G -E. There we go. I'm actually wondering how this is going to work as a video. How interesting this is going to be to watch, you know? Uh oh, lobbyist, needle, resin, coming in there. Oh, took that one. I can't always seal the words. When they start to get on top of each other, it definitely gets a little bit harder. All right, let's uh, let's take another sip here. Mm-hmm. 
Hey, we're still going strong at ten and a half minutes in, I'd, I'd argue. All right, let's uh, buff the repeater here. On arm. Let's grab this chest too. All remote weapons, all explosive weapons, range. Yeah, let's put some range on our explosive weapons. I mean, we buffed the damage uh, to plus 30%, if I remember right. All right. Okay. Hollow paint, all kinetic weapons. So that's gonna affect two. Let's do that. Yeah, so normally I can get a good feel for how interested folks were in the game slash what I was doing or talking about uh, if I take a look at the watch time average. And that's probably going to tell the story on this one pretty well. But hopefully you have a good time seeing this. Some of you might just be sticking around or jumping to the end to see how fast of a typer the goat is, and I can appreciate that as well. Signal boost. All remote weapons range plus 10%. All drone weapons damage. Ooh, look at this last one. All weapons. Crit chance plus 2%. Crit multiplier plus 50%. Chance of longer word plus 10%. And that's kind of a help me hurt me because some of those longer words help trigger our capabilities. As you've noticed, some of that has to do with the spelling of the words. Oh, the old Zila tree. My goodness. Nitrated. Wow. Jaloused. Now, some of these words, I don't know if they're all words. The weapons are definitely coming into their own carcass. Asthma, okay. Uh-oh. All right, we're, we're taking some hits here and there, folks. I don't know how much longer we're gonna last. Now let's go with Jiffy. Yuckiest. All right. Ancestor got us in the end. 95 words per minute. I don't feel terrible about that. I only made 102 mistakes. It sounds like a lot, but given how many opportunities to make mistakes there were, it only came out to a, you know, about 5% hit to accuracy. I don't feel terrible about that. Folks, this is a game called Glyphica. And it is a roguelite bullet heaven game that is powered by your ability to type fast and with accuracy. Let us know in the comments if you're going to be giving this one a look. I will include the link to the game in the video description per usual if you want to check this out. The demo is out there right now. And this one's going to drop sometime in Q3 2024, according to the Steam page. Hey, thanks so much for hanging out. If you enjoyed yourself, do me a favor, hit that like button. It'll help even more people see the video and the game. And uh, I'll tell you what, we'll do this again sometime soon. We'll get together, we'll play a roguelike or a roguelite, because that's what we do every time out here. And uh, you know what? We'll give away a video game at least once a week. We like doing those too, and we can do them because of you. All right, I'm going to roll the credits here. And if you have an interest in seeing your name in the credits sometime soon, take a look into becoming a channel member. I appreciate the support of everyone. Thanks again. Have a great rest of your day. Take care.